Uh, this is 2019, paper 2, question number 4. We are told the vertices of a triangle PQR are P minus 3, 2, Q, 0 minus 1, and R, 2 minus 1. A transformation matrix M maps triangle PQR onto triangle uh, PQR prime, whose vertices are P prime minus 7, 2, Q prime mi 2 minus 1, and R prime. 4 minus 1. Find the inverse of matrix M, uh, the transformation matrix that maps PQR prime onto PQR. You get yourself formats. So the first thing we do here is we need to get the matrix M so that we get the M inverse. Uh, so if we say let our M be represented by A, B, C, and D. Uh, the mat you can form a matrix using the vertices of triangle PQR, and this will be minus 3, uh, 2, uh, we have 0, minus 1, and then we have uh, 2, minus 1. So this is actually P and Q and R. We just uh, in, uh, write the vertices in column form. This should give us the matrix to be formed or that can be formed using PQR prime. So this is minus 7, uh, this is 2, uh, this is 2 minus 1, and this is 4 uh, minus 1. Actually, this is P prime, uh, Q prime, and R prime. So those are, those are the matrix that are to be formed. So if we find A, B, C, D, we have found the matrix M. So we multiply. Hope you know how to multiply uh, uh, two matrices. Uh, so A times minus 3, that will give you minus 3A. Uh, B times 2, that will give you plus 2B. So A times 0 is 0. B times minus 1 will give you minus, minus B. A times 2 is 2A uh, minus B. Uh, so that is the first uh, row come to the second uh, row we get uh, c times uh, c times uh, 3 minus 3 that is minus 3c plus 2d then uh, c times 0 is 0 d times minus 1 this is minus d uh, then we have uh, c times 2 is 2c uh, then uh, d times minus 1 is minus d this is equals to uh, the same matrix uh, minus 7 uh, 2, 4, and 2, minus 1, minus 1. Uh, so, in matrix, we say that uh, the corresponding elements are equal. So, if we take, for example, that element, minus b is the same as 2. So, we can simply say uh, minus b is equal to 2. Divide both sides by minus 1. So, b is equal to minus 2. Uh, the same, we can say... Uh, uh, minus d is the same as minus 1. So minus uh, d is equal to minus 1. Divide both sides by minus 1, you get d is equal to 1. Now we have the values of uh, c, b, and d. Uh, we come and say, we take uh, this element here and uh, say uh, this 2c two, two, uh, two C, two, two C minus D is the same as minus 1, but we already got D. So we can say 2C uh, minus 1 is equal to minus 1. If we take uh, minus 1 to the other side, we have 2C mi minus 1 becomes positive. So minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, implying that C is equal to 0. Uh, if C is equal to 0, uh, then uh, what is remaining is uh, okay we have uh, then we can say uh, we can say that uh, uh, this element here is the same as is equals to 4 so 2a but we already know b is minus uh, minus 2 so minus uh, minus 2 is equals to 4 uh, therefore we say that uh, 2 a, this will be mine a uh, positive we take it to the other side becomes negative so we get 2 4 minus 2 you get 2 divide both side by by 2 you get uh, a is equals to 1 now we have got all the elements uh, such that uh,
So our m is equals to our a is 1, our b is minus 2, our c is 0, and our d is actually 1. So that is the matrix m. To get the m inverse matrix of m, uh, we normally say we get the determinant. So determinant is equals to, you multiply the elements of the main diagonal, so it is 1 times 1 minus, you, you multiply that, minus 2 times 0 times minus 2, and that is 1 minus 0 is 1. When the determinant of a matrix is minus 1, to get the inverse of that matrix, we say that uh, matrix, we we interchange the elements of the main diagonal. So we have this is 1 and this is 1. So that will not make any difference if we interchange. Uh, we introduce the negative sign to the elements of the other diagonal. So we, it's like we multiply by minus 1. So minus 1 times minus uh, 2, that will give you positive 2. 0 times minus 1 remains 0. So that is the ma inverse matrix inverse matrix of matrix M and that is how you work out that question uh, and you get yourself a uh, four marks. So actually what you are being tested here is whether you know how to find the matrix given the object and the image uh, and then another uh, thing that you are being tested is whether you know how to find the inverse of a matrix. So I hope uh, you have understood uh, and that's how you go about that kind of a question.